In this video, we are going to resolve another user fatal message. This one happens to be user fatal message 9002, which is actually pointing up to another user fatal message. Let me see if I can track down what exactly is going on here. So we have a number of issues. Uh, the most concerning one is user fatal message 9994. That's the bar with ID 100,001, a specific action. The initial value should be greater than the lower bound. So this X init is corresponding to the initial value of the design variable. This XLB is corresponding to the lower bound of the design variable. It's saying that we should make the initial value greater than the lower bound. Here I have my web app where I created this design variable so let's go ahead and see if we can find out what's going on so my upper bound it's 100 and that is greater than the initial value of 0 0.025 my lower bound is 0.1 which is greater than 0 0.025 so this is where we are encountering the issue the lower bound is greater than the initial value so this initial value is not between 0.1 and 100 as recommended by the F06 file, I should make the, well, I shouldn't make the initial value greater than the lower bound. What I should do is make sure that the lower bound is less than the initial value. So 0 0.01 is less than 0 0.025. So with these new statements on the right, I'm going to use these in my design model. So here I have my original design model. And what I can do here is just replace the old entries with the new ones. And then I can perform my optimization. And then I'll compare the new F06 file with the old one and we'll see that we've in fact corrected the issue. So let's go ahead and, go and do that. And while that's running, uh, let me call out that uh, at the beginning of the video, uh, I have my email address available. Feel free to send me an email if you are still having a challenge with this error message, or if you want assistance with another error message, or if you want access to this web app that makes the process of creating your design variables really simple. So let's go ahead and look at the new F06 file on the right. And here on the left is our old F06 file. And right now I'm just waiting for the optimization to finish. Let's go ahead and do a quick refresh on the F06 file. And after the optimization is complete, we'll look at the F06 file. And now we have the successful message run terminated due to convergence at an optimal point. That's the first and main indication that the, there are no user fatal messages in your F06 file. If you, uh, it's really no point, but, or there is a point actually. If this message still does not appear, you will then inspect your F06 file for another user fatal message. And here in this case, there are no user fatal messages on the right. So we are good to go. As always, if you have a question, feel free to email me and always a thank you for watching my videos.